In this video, I'm gonna talk about this, 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 this. Coming right up now. Hey, how's it going, you guys? Welcome back. Here's Michael. And today, I'm gonna show you guys six effective ways of using your iPhone. So just stay tuned. But so before getting to the first tip, I just want to say these tips, uh, it's just, you know, uh, from my experience that I, uh, I think this is really good for myself. So I want to share with you guys. We're gonna uh, know how to use uh, our phone more, more effective and useful. So, uh, yes, so without further ado, we're gonna talk about the first tips. I'm gonna use this as an example. That's my friend, my iPhone 7 Plus, which is kind of popular and old age. And um, yeah, I think it's a lot of people still use this. So, dive into. First thing first, using Siri. You know, I could use Siri to set up an alarm for me. You know, I kind of really, uh, I have to uh, depend on my phone. So, uh, yeah, before I just uh, go to sleep, I just say, hey Siri. Oops. Hey Siri, set up an alarm at 4.30 a.m. Your alarm is set for 4.30 a.m. You know, I'm kind of an uh, early bird, so I kind of get up early and, uh, you know, start studying and uh, learn something by heart. But anyway, yeah, use uh, Siri to set up. You could use Siri to uh, set the timer uh, for you guys to study. Instead of using the Bomonoro app, do you know that matter? That means that you spend 25 study and 5 minutes break. There's a lot of applications for that matter. But in my perspective, I, I'm not tend to downing that app because it's it's, it's just like it's burst, you know, myself into that uh, that period of time. But I'm not really, it's kind of uh, intense and strict. Yeah, we could use Siri to make our time more easy, more smoother, more, uh, I mean, more flexible. Yes. Hey Siri, count down 25 minutes. Okay, 25 minutes and counting. And after that, after 25 minutes, just do your homework, do your exercise. And after 25 minutes, Siri is gonna, you know, kind of, you know, gonna bell gonna ring out right and after that just uh, if you are still doing then just uh, finish your homework and then you just say uh, uh, hey Siri count down five minutes the timer is already running in 24 minutes and 28 seconds and okay. after that just yeah minutes. it's kind of easier for us to uh, control our time more flexible yeah rather than using some uh, bomb motor roll app yes and I could use Siri for define new word like, um, hey Siri, what does convenient mean? Convenient means fitting in well with a person's needs, activities, and plans. You know, this is really good for me to learn English and, you know, I could practice English uh, with Siri. Or I could, you know, learn some other language with Siri. Like, hey Siri, uh, what is uh, thank you in Japanese? Or, what does sorry in Chinese? In Mandarin Chinese, sorry is baotian. Baotian. Baotian means sorry in Chinese. Anyway, it's really good, right, to learn vocabulary or define some vocabulary by Siri. On the other hand, you could use Siri for calculating, for, you know, for some math stuff, like, Hey Siri, derivative, derivative of cost. Here's what I found. Wow, it's really awesome. Or, 99 to the power of 999. Just a moment. Just a moment. A few moments later. 99 raised to the 999th power is a 1994-digit number beginning with 4360. Wow. It's an, you know, a, a long line number behind that. Anyway, you know, we could actually read about some math stuff like uh, uh, 1 plus 1, or 2 plus 2, or 3 plus 3. Yes. It's really um, useful, right? And you could use Siri for many, many things like asking about weather, about information. Uh, yeah, Siri is for, uh, will search for some information on Wikipedia. So that is the first tip. Let's come to the second tip. Okay, the second tip, using app limit. So with the app limit, you know, it's just like, it's uh, allow you to know that you are using, you know, social media or, you know, or you could control yourself from something you are really addicted to, like uh, social media. So, uh, okay, I'm going to show you first, okay, uh, go down the setting and then move to the, the, uh, okay, let me see, that right here, the screen time. Okay, the screen time button and you will see the down, the, the okay, your, the, your time daily average and um, right here there's an app limit set time limits for apps 
So right here, you can see um, at the first, it's going to off and you turn it on. Yes. Hmm. Five minutes remaining for Facebook Messenger and uh, it's mean uh, you know, I use this for, you know, control myself from using Facebook or, um, or you know, Pinterest uh, too much. Yep. I'm going to show you. Yeah, you can uh, choose whatever you can, uh, you, you want to uh, set a limit right here, Pinterest. Yeah, edit list and uh, you could choose uh, from apps uh, from any uh, categories here yeah from social networking games uh, or in helm to health and fitness it's, it's quite good you know because uh, myself I'm quite um, spend a lot of time wasting time on social media so I want to use this method to uh, uh, you know it just like announced me uh, that I you know I just waste my five minutes time my five minutes so I'm I should have to turn off one thing is to uh, you could use the doubt time yep turn on the doubt time and you know it's gonna ban you uh, from using any app um, in your iPhone from you know 20 to 6 a.m. so uh, it's gonna be useful for you guys if you are really addicted to game or any social media before you hit the sack or hit the sack, right? Yeah, that is all the second tip. It's quite easy, right? But it's help you. It's gonna help you a lot. And you can control your time more flexible, easily, and um, and you're gonna be awesome after uh, using app limits. The third tip about camera: how to use your camera more uh more beautiful, more stunning. So uh, go into the setting and uh, we have to change the default of our camera a little bit like um, yeah move here and uh, we're gonna click into the camera section and then you know at the first beginning is don't have the grid or um, I don't remember the scan QR code but I recommend you guys just turn this on turn the, the grid on and the scan QR code because you know the grid uh, is gonna help you uh, you know you uh, to uh, have a good outline of your uh, of your video or your you know your picture and and uh, you know and about the record video here just switch at uh, uh, 10 oh shit. at uh, 1080 PhD at 60 frames per second you know this really uh, it's good it's uh, it tell you it's smoother now when you capture any moment uh, smoother it's, uh, it's gonna be more beautiful and uh, more emotional when you watch it again but for the, four, the, the 4k at uh, 30 frames is not really uh, uh, necessary 1080 per uh, pixel is gonna be fit it's gonna be suitable and uh, you know it's gonna be great and about this record slow motion I think you should try this one yeah and the default is gonna be here, right here but uh, I recommend you guys use this um, yes, like um, what I said before, it's gonna be awesome, and um, every your video gonna be so you know it's just like professional. It's really awesome. Remember, don't turn this on because it's gonna keep your normal photo. If you just have um um it, you know if you are afraid of using uh, this, maybe because you are afraid of your storage is just thirty five gigabyte or just sixty four. It's not really a big deal because we have Google Drive, so you could post your video or you could start your video on Google Drive or uh, your portable hard drive something yeah this is what we should use for our camera so that is the third tip move to the fourth tip wipe to tap and record to note in the fourth tip uh, for example when you are doing something and your hand is kind of busy there's something idea just popped up in your head and you want to keep it so then just go to the note okay right there and uh, you know you just create uh, a photo uh, which is uh, idea idea that's why any ideas uh, so far some I'm a youtuber you know if there's some idea just pop up in my head it's quite too tight to make it um, more uh, quickly right uh, like okay this is a way of using your iPhone more if effectively yep that's it and uh, you just you record uh, like um, yeah six way of using your iPhone more effectively Yep. You know, you could use your uh, Apple Note, you're gonna keep your idea, or you could use Apple Note, Google Keep, and uh, yes, something, any note. The tip number five is how we should use Assistive Touch more useful. This tip I'm gonna show you is gonna help you, uh, you know, to uh, instead of using this, yep, or instead of, you know, use, uh, take the screenshot. Yes, you don't have to um, do this because uh, it's quite a uh, a lot of uh, action okay i'm gonna 
show you more way to uh, do it more effective um, yeah more effectively like um, okay I'm going to to go there in the setting and uh, move to the 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 accessibility and then move to touch so as you can see right here is uh, yeah the s assistive touch that's mean we're gonna use it to do um, so something that I you know just mentioned yep as you can see right here single tap to open menu mm -hmm. and a double tap to lock rotation right here I'm gonna double two tap and then it's gonna lock the rotation yeah it's quite it's really really quick right and double tap it's gonna lock it double tap turn it on turn it off turn it on I could you know use the long breath to take the screenshot right here yeah it's really cool I'm gonna delete it and you know I could use 3d touch to uh, uh, to lock the screen yeah it's really awesome so you could use the double tap to uh, you know to choose anything in here in my in my contest I use lock rotation or you could use lock screen long press mute notification pinch reach ability restart anything you could use so and the long breath is the same um i recommend you guys just use the double tap timeout just out to uh out to uh up on two seconds yeah to just to make it more flexible and uh, use the lock rotation uh, i mean use the long breath just to save point seventy five second yes if you think some something is really suitable for you then just use it okay so and how could I arrange my application more logically and more convenient? That's gonna be the last tip. So what I mean is, you know, right here, I have a lot of, you know, a lot of page here. So my purpose is just to, to make uh, my phone more, you know, more logical organization. But, okay, I call this, uh, this page gonna be my, uh, my, my main section. Yes, this is the main section. And this is the second uh, main section. And this one is gonna be the less important section and this is gonna the game section and uh, this is gonna be isolated uh, section because I'm kind of uh, addicted to Facebook or social media so uh, I'm gonna show you a little bit clearer about how I arrange uh, these I have to uh, make it more logical as you can see yeah I call this the under area and this is the upper area and this is the, the, the bottom line yeah, this is what I call because I don't really know how they call it. So the note is what I use the most. So uh, I just you know, uh, I just like uh, this is a folder include any note or the Google Calendar, you know, or something that I'm used the most. So I put it here because you know when you use your hand, your your thumb it just could reach from here to here quite easy. And then uh, this thing here, or uh, or it could reach something uh, at the bottom here or the line here. So yeah, the note is the thing that I use the most because I want to uh, uh, write down any my idea quickly, and um, yeah, I use Google Keep the most. Um, and uh, right here we have um, yeah something for watching like YouTube, uh, Jungle that I did talk about Jungle and about Google. It's a lot of you know uh, feature of Google and um, Edu. Yes, yeah, something that you want uh, that you think that's really important to you that you use it the most. So then put it right here, and you're gonna reach it to touch this really quickly and one more tip is just you know click um, to tap at the home button just tap easy don't tap to uh, top just easy yes and you will reach the uh, the upper you just put everything in the main folder and put it right here then you gonna you know have uh, the main important section right here yes and you're gonna do it quickly at the second main section you know, I bought the Zizun Plane, which is the app that I use my gimbal to uh, to uh, to shot the film, and uh, I also use Blue Movie. You know, why I bought uh, these two app right here because this is the camera, um, yeah, that we have to uh, you know to uh, rotate our phone right there, and if I rotate right here, yeah, this app gonna move to. This place and this place. So my uh, so my uh, my thumb is gonna reach this really really easy. Yep. So that's why I. Yeah. So that's why I put it right here right now. Yeah. And we have a camera here, the season play and blow movie. It's really easy to uh, to uh, let my thumb reach so easily.
right? And this is just the less important. Now we have buying online or some stuff. And right here, it's just the game section just for game. Okay, and the isolated section, which is uh, something that you don't want to waste too much time on it. So just put it right here. This is called isolated section. Yep. So that is all six tips that I want to show you guys from my experience from, you know, from two years of using iPhone 7 Plus and uh, those tips really help me a lot, you know, control my time, me to uh, less wasting my time. So, uh, yes, it's really good. Uh, if you know more about any tips of the, uh, for, of using iPhone or using any smartphone, so please let me know at the comment below. Uh, if there's something that I uh, speak not really clearly, so please also let, let me know that, uh, give me some feedback and I could uh, make my video more clear and, um, okay, until next time, I'll see you. Goodbye and have a good day. Actually, there's one more tip that I have not shown you guys. So uh, what would you do if, you know, your iPhone get really, really hot? Just follow this step. Okay, first thing first, you're gonna have a little bowl or, or something. A dish that you want to, uh, that you have to pour the water into the... And then put your phone at the place where it has a fan. Okay, make the fan. Just uh, uh, blow, blow the wind to your phone. What I mean, yep, use your hand to dip this water and do this on your phone. It's gonna message your iPhone and make it more cooler, losing more less heat. It's gonna make uh, the temperature of your iPhone gonna decrease in quickly. Yeah, this is really awesome. It's, you know, it's feel really so badass. And uh, you're you gonna message your iPhone like this because it's also your friend and your iPhone. It's also deserves to do this, right? And thank you for watching.